many ways to cook uh, egg fried rice and today I'm going to show you one of the ways that we do. So to start with, we would need, obviously, overnight cooked rice, eggs. We are only going to use one because um, it's not much rice. So if we have more rice, we will use more eggs. But today, that's one portion of rice. So we're going to use one egg, but you can use two or whatever you like. So that's my hand. So that's sort of a, a portion size. My hand is quite small, so yeah. Um, okay, we need egg. We need salt, pepper, one spring onion, oil of your choice, light soy, and chicken powder. That's all we need. And I'm going, going to show you how we are going to do this magnificent, beautiful looking egg fried rice. The key is to mix the rice before we are going to the frying stage. So get a big bowl. This is actually too big for this, but I like to use a bigger bowl so that we can fully mix that. So put the rice in the bowl. Just break the rice gently. Like so. So just loosen it up because I cook the rice in the rice cooker. So they are all sort of in a cake shape, if you like. But loosen it up a little bit. Next step, as per usual, salt. Pepper. light soy and chicken powder mixed up really well the reason why we're doing this is to make sure that most of the rice grain is coated with all the flavour all the ingredients. It's best to use overnight rice. We cooked this last night. It's been in the fridge. I should have really broken that up, but um, it doesn't matter. Just do it when you are about to cook the rice. So as you can see, there are lumps. Your aim is to just bash that and break it up, roughly. Don't have to be precise. Cooking is an art, not science. So do whatever that suits you. So I would say that's about okay. So I could, as you can see, most of the rice is being sort of coated. Um, can you see why I use a, a bigger bowl so that you can mix that well? Next, see the spring onion as per usual, cut it to half. So we are saving the green bits for later and we are going to cut the white bit, cut it to half. Um, as per usual, make sure that you rest it really flat. Obviously it moves, but rest it, use your finger to um, secure that. Cut it. If you're not comfortable with that, use scissors, it's fine. Okay. 
going to put that in here. Mix up. We are going to cut that really fine. But we are only going to put it aside for now to uh, garnish that later. Okay, next step, we're going to prep the egg. One egg for that portion. Actually, to be fair, we can probably do with two, but I'm going to use one for now. One egg is the best egg you can. Always use the best ingredients that you can afford because it makes a difference. Salt. pepper, beat it with chopsticks or fork or whatever tool you normally use to do eggs. Sometimes I like to tilt that a little bit so that I can make sure that all angles things sort of all the bits have been covered. And we do it like that. You know that most of bits has been beat up quite evenly. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to show you the next step. Next step, we are going to use a very small pan, flat pan, as you can see, um, to cook the egg. You almost want to cook like an omelette. Heat the pan with the oil of your choice. We're using groundnut oil because that's what we like. Coat the oil to the pan. You may think that's too much, but egg will fluff up. So you want to use a tiny little bit more than just to coat that over. Okay. It will take about 30 seconds for the oil to be fully hot. And make sure the pan is dry, there's no water, otherwise you will sort of pop, pop, which is not good. So, you can buy those devices to check the temperature, but when you cook omelette that many times, you generally know when it's ready. Ready. Now put that egg mixture in like so. Make sure you scrape off everything on the bowl so that we don't waste anything. And sort of move that around to make sure that it's all evenly distributed, like so. It doesn't, I'm going to flip it in a minute, but it doesn't matter if you can't flip it like beautifully, like how you would cook a pancake or, or, um, or omelette. You'll see why. 
just run the spatula on the edge a little bit to make sure it's not um, sort of burning and just flip it like that. Doesn't matter if some bits is folding. When you can, when you, when your egg is sort of white, it's, um, well, let me restart it. You want to choose an egg that the yolk is yellow. So that means the chicken is fed well. Again, flip it again, just to check the other side. I would say that's ready. So, turn the gas off. And we are going to just place that on the chopping board flat to rest. Um, the chopping board, we have two sides. We have many, many chopping boards. So there's a side for cooked food, there's a side for raw food. So make sure that you don't use the same side when you cut them raw meat. So as you can see, we have some oil left here and we are going to reuse that for the fried rice. We're going to show you how. I'm going to grab another pan, bigger pan. And obviously that oil is not enough, but you know, we use every bit of whatever we have. some add more of the same oil of your choice you don't need a lot just make sure you coat the pan well I need a tiny little bit more that's it not a lot wait for that to go hot again make sure your pan is very hot very dry sorry very dry so the oil wouldn't just pop or you can get a device to make sure that the oil is hot use whatever oil you like or spray take a minute as you know the rice is being seasoned so we don't need to do much but just fry it and heat it up so place the rice in there you possibly can hear the sound hopefully you can I'm doing my best to scrape every bit off the bowl so we don't waste anything. The rice I made yesterday was a little bit sticky because I didn't wash out the starch as much as I would like to. But it doesn't matter, so... Typically, the rice of less starch will stick less. So make sure you wash your rice before you cook, cook it. As you can see, 
at the pan versus the rice, the pan is way bigger than the rice. That's what you want. You don't want to crowd the rice, otherwise it's going to take too much cooking time. It doesn't need much time to cook at all, because the rice is cooked, the ingredients are sort of cooked, apart from the um, white bits of the onion, but if you don't mind that, that's fine. The whole point is just to go through the heat and the oil. I would say that's done. So turn off the gas. Rest the rice in there. Let that soak the heat the pan has. Okay. Next bit. Can you see that omelette we cooked being rested on here? We're going to roll that in the roll like that. We're going to just gently cut it up like so. So it becomes like sort of um, like a belt type of consistency like that. Now um, take a container of your choice. That's the one we have tonight. You can have a square one or even a, like a like that obviously without raw egg just whatever container you have so to lay the egg like so at the bottom like so. Make sure it's all flat. Now I'm going to wash my hands and show you the next step. The next step is you just place the rice, you just freshly fried, very carefully placed in this bowl here. Sorry, I need to just flip that, so. For film purposes, it just goes everywhere, but usually I just do it in one go. Scoop that up. It's very important that you press the rice really firmly as much as you can. And you will see why in a minute. Okay. Next step, put a plate on top of it. Flip that over. Tap that a little bit and lift that up very gently. Like so. 
then you will have a beautiful egg fried rice. So, as you can see, that's a beautifully shaped, I'm just gonna move that around like so. As I said, you can use whatever container you can have. That's what we have tonight. You can use a heart one or a square one, or a round one, whatever you have, doesn't matter. As long as it's sort of, you know, you can do the flipping um, motion and garnish that with a tiny little bit of the green bit of the spring onion. And of course, we are not going to waste that bit. So that will be on the side. So that will be a meal by itself with protein, um, carbs. But of course, you can have all the food with it, but that's perfect for lunch and a quick dinner if you are short on time. Enjoy!